and repeat rapidly for my good friend Kane. Thank you very much. Oh my gosh, I love this room. Also, let's hear it. Keep it going for Dan Fritchie. He is so good. He's so funny. He made my peony tingle. Damn good stuff going on. And you know, this is a great thing. This is a great new open mic. I love it. I love it. This is fantastic. Let's hear it for Smitty for opening up a new open mic. Smitty, Smitty arrests what he's doing to applaud for himself. Well, he was in the middle of something, but he stopped. Give himself a round of applause. I like that. I like your style. Uh, I like the room. I've never been here. This is great. This, I like the disco wall. Look at that wall. It's like if Edvard Munch were in Casey and the Sunshine Band. <laughs> I like that. Uh, I think it's funny how, how Dan complains about his one month old daughter being whiny. Like, where do you think those two are on like, whiny level? He's got to be pulling ahead of her at this point. Uh, but I am Kane, and I'm a local comic like the rest of these JAs, and I'm just going to, well, I don't know, tell you some jokes. People are mad, hopping mad about, uh, at Christina Aguilera. Yeah, they're mad at her for screwing up the uh, Star Spangled Banner at the Super Bowl. They say she should have spent more time rehearsing. <laughs> now, I don't, I don't think that's really fair. I mean, Burger King only gives you a couple of 15-minute breaks. <laughs> <laughs> How many people really noticed that, though? <laughs> no, I, I didn't find out until someone told me. I was like, really? Sounded pretty good. Actually, we might should change it, you know? Do a little, like, kind of a Star Spangled Banner remix, you know, where you repeat a phrase now and then. Or not. Uh, but, uh, no, what else? Uh, I was thinking about, uh, yeah, have you guys heard about this? It's called Your Baby Can Read. It's an early language development system. And you heard about that, man? And literally millions of people are using this and teaching like little infants how to read who are crawling around. Like, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna send out a DVD to all those parents who bought Your Baby Can Read. It's called, Your Baby Is A Baby. <laughs> You know, let, easy with the flashcards, you know? I mean, it's just a tiny little baby. I mean, you're, when you're one, you're supposed to wander around eating crayons and wiping boogers on the dog. Not supposed to be learning state capitals and shit. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna send out, I'm gonna market my own learning system to all those babies who were forced into the Your Baby Can Read system. It's called Your Parents Can Leave You the Fuck Alone. It's gonna be big. Uh, Charlie Sheen in another disgusting, uh, drunken rampage in a hotel with a porn star. My wife is into all the gossip. I don't know what's going on. I came home the other night and said, oh, Charlie Sheen involved in another really ugly episode tonight. I said, well, yeah, the show's in its eighth season. <laughs> I, think, I think if Charlie Sheen is convicted, he should be sentenced to having to watch his own show. Uh, Anybody use, uh, this is kind of, kind of out of the blue, it's not really on the same topic. Anybody use Listerine? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, me too. I use Listerine. It hurts, doesn't it? Yeah. It's, it's not worth it. Whatever it's doing for us, it's not worth it. I just, I, I have to use it because it, it's so good, but I dread it. It's just so painful. I think, I think the label should say, Listerine kills tartar, gingivitis, and the will to live. <laughs> I hate the Listerine. I read my wife's women's magazine. That's good for a laugh. Read my wife's women's magazine. And they're always telling you secrets. Of secrets, you know? What's he really thinking? My, uh, the, the one I just read, it said, in this issue, we reveal the secret to male arousal. I was like, man, talk about your poorly kept secrets. <laughs> Try to keep you from taking the pen by taking.
taping a big plastic spoon to it. <laughs> they don't know me. I'm undeterred. Because I like to write letters and eat ice cream at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank y'all, this is a lot of fun. Uh, I'll leave you on, I've got another joke. I'll leave you on this joke. I need, I need some help though. And since all the comics are having a little powwow away from the stage, I hope you guys had a little fun chat chat back there. <laughs> I'm going to ask Smitty to help me with this joke. Smitty, <laughs> you're going to test your comedy chops here, okay? Alright. Knock knock. Who's that? Doorbell repairman. <laughs> See, that's it. That's it. My name is Cave. Good night. Thank you. Thank you all. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Uh, we got uh, Andrew Rice coming up next. We're going to do some. Well, we'll just see. <laughs> I thought that said beatbox at first. I think most people be disappointed. I know, I thought it said beatbox too. I was like, what oh, is <laughs> Like getting introduced by Mr. Bean. <laughs> <laughs>